Good morning, Chocta. I'm Juju. And I'm Kaden. And you're watching Tribal News. On this week's show, we get a little teaser of Choctaw's makeup tutorials and homecoming previews. Also, Choctaw's got talent. Now let's hear from our Student Government Association and the fabulous homecoming court and what they have planned for homecoming night. Uh, we chose to be each other's partners for homecoming court because we think we look good together and we know each other very well. Um, so we ended up walking with each other because they actually didn't let me walk with Derek. We had no choice. Um, but since they didn't let me walk with Derek, I was like, Yes, I'll walk with Takira then. But I'm the best option anyways because me and Sam are close. Um, so this year I chose to walk with Jordan because she's a friend of mine. But she's also a lot shorter than me. And last year I had a girl that was about the same height as me. And now I can just like, I can look like a bigger person now. So, in a good way. Yeah, I chose to walk with Campbell just because we've known each other since freshman year. And like, we play the same sport. So it's like... We decided to walk with each other because we've been best friends since elementary school. And we've just grown a closer bond since like the start of high school. And we're also the same height. Yeah. <laughs> The HOKO theme for this year is A Night in Hollywood, I believe. It is all about glamour and glitz and silver for our platinum anniversary. So because this is the platinum edition of Choctaw for 70 years, there's going to be lots of silver decorations incorporated into the dance. Choctaw has amazing talent from near and far. Let's tune in. My name's Lily Savage and I'm a sophomore. My talent is that I can do flips and stuff. Um, well, I started gymnastics when I was like, Eight, and then I quit when I was 12 and started cheer and I've been cheering ever since. Um, well I cheer on Choctaw obviously and then I cheer for Zero Gravity in Niceville and I'm on two teams there. Hello, my name is Jace and I'm in ninth grade and on um, today's uh, Choctaw's Got Talent I will be doing a henna tattoo. So I've been doing it for about four years since I was 10 I believe. The history behind it, it comes from India and Indian people, which is my culture. That's where I started really getting into it because of my mom. I want to be a tattoo artist and you can get a lot of practice from henna because like if you do it, it's not going to be permanent. It's only temporary. I just do whatever design I want. But my favorite design that I love to do is floral design with a lot of flowers and like scallops and stuff and paisleys only two different types of henna. One is jaguar henna where it stains the dark um, blue and it's all natural so you won't get like infections from it or anything. But if you see colored henna, especially black colored henna, that's all toxic stuff and it can like get in your bloodstream and cause problems. Uh, little to none experience is needed uh, with today's technology because we have templates and things like that. Uh, I use uh, GoDaddy uh, to build my websites. Uh, they have a lot of templates, uh, so I use them. Something that's you know appealing, uh, you have to cater to your audience uh, for kids, high school kids. Um, I was you know making a website to be geared to you know, education or sports um, and school activities and things and whatnot. So, and so nowadays, you know this. I don't use social media, but you can reach people, massive amount of people in a short amount of time. Um, so that's why this generation has a, a great advantage to using it to their advantage. Um, like I said, you can reach a, a mass amount of people at one click of a button. Our website is run by um, Ms. Calderon, and all of our social media pages are managed by Ms. Humphreys. Um, pictures are taken either by one of them or by various faculty and staff members, um, depending on what the, the event is. You can find uh, our pages in multiple places. We have a page on uh, Facebook, Instagram. There's an older one on Twitter that hasn't been updated in a while. Um, there are also several for individual clubs and sports, both on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Um, and then official school site is at ChoctawIndians.net. On the school's web pages and site uh, and, and social media pages, um, literally anything and all things Choctaw are posted there. Um, everything from important upcoming events to uh, pictures of, of major events that we've held, sports activities, uh, just other cool things we have going on. 
uh, and just quite frankly more information than I can sit here and say here at one standing. So it's really important to keep up with all the school's pages and site just so you don't miss anything. We have, you know, we're really a small city here. We have 1,850 students. Uh, there's a lot going on here pretty much every day and so having, a, having an idea about what's going on through those various uh, sites is really, really important. Your books are now available for purchase. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Mitchell in room 2E01. The Senior Grad Bash trip will be held at Six Flags in Georgia on May 5th. The cost is $200, and this includes your ticket and travel. The list is open to the first 50 seniors who would like to attend. This can be revised if more seniors are interested. See Ms. Kessler in room 2E05 for payment or payment plan options and paperwork. That's, That's all, all for today, today Choctaw. Till next time. Till next time. Thank <laughs> you.